question, then we can ignore it. Yes, ask the question and we can ignore it. Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Match Evil, your uncasual truck. We're back with uh, Al and Jet. Hello. And th I'll just ask the question, we'll get it out of the way, we can talk about whatever, but we were talking about horror hosts, so now my question is, who's your favorite horror host? Uh, Sven Gulli. Rod I'd Sterling. Have to, I'd have to think about that one. Probably Rod Sterling. I don't know, um... Alfred Hitchcock can put on a good show. The original trailer for Psycho was just him talking about his movie. Really? And it was terrifying, yeah. He just goes on a tour of the house in Psycho and tells you about what happens in the movie. And Here she takes a shower. Yeah. <laughs> and it ends most... Oh, it's too gruesome to describe. Let's move on. <laughs> I need a giant turkey. I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Hit the, does that even count as a horror count? host? Because it's, it's a movie I trailer. It's not. He, he, I, I think of someone like Elvira or Sven Gulli or. Or Ivana Kadaver. No. Yes. No. Yes. She's shit. You know she's shit. You don't know anything. You've never seen her. Yes, I have. I've seen YouTube clips on her. She's not. She's pokey. And, I, and Elvira isn't hulky? Elvira, Elvira is a gothic vaudeville show. And it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Whatever. I'm still with Rod Sterling, though. Okay. Actually, a gothic vaudeville show is specifically how Alice Cooper tries to put on all of his performances. Oh, yeah. I'm, what I'm, loves the coop? I'm, I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen a, a Alice Cooper concert, so I have no... I have no... Neither right. have I, but I heard a, ra a, a blurb on an NPR interview uh, a couple weekends ago. It was pretty interesting. Is that how he was describing himself? Yeah, uh, uh, that the kind of shows he put on are like big Rocky Horror style productions. Mm-hmm. Huh. Million dollar babies. Even his songs are little stories unto themselves. Oh, and yeah. you don't see that a lot anymore in modern music. Maybe in country, but... Well, country is... Oh, I got run over by my truck and now I'm drunk. Country and is <laughs> story in song form. It's, it's part of the... Part of, part of the country and western appeal is that each song is an individual story. God, you, you're making me think, though. There's got to be something, because... No, no, no. I, I guess I can't think of any any songs that were stories when I was growing up. They were all, like, folk music, which was... I mean, folk music. The Ballad of the Edmund Fitzgerald? Yep. Oh, it's the most of... depressing song in the world? And away went the ship, and they all died like rats, and their lungs filled up with water... While back on the shore, all their wives weren't insured, and their children turned to drugs and prostitution. Wow, you're an idiot. Shut up. <laughs> so what we were talking about before you went on this tire... Aliens. <clears throat> huh? Aliens. I think. It was... No? It was Al's no, you... first horror story? Oh, uh, the first horror movie with appreciable gore that my dad let me watch. Okay. Was Aliens. Aliens. A Alien 3. Ow. 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 I'm Grim. Ow. I know. I'm Jet. I, I'm I Grim. An, it's I not his fault, okay? It's not his that. fault. It's the movie he, he was allowed to watch, alright, Grim? Don't be a judgy Jason. Alright, alright, alright. I'll stop being a judgy Jason. Yeah. Cock waffle. Because, uh, like, I'm not burnt up about Newt's death in the franchise because that's what I walked into. Right. Right. So you don't it know. Just, you didn't it know. just adds to the tragedy of Ellen Ripley. Right. Can we agree that the other the ones after it are terrible? Yes. No, I loved Resurrection. I yes, we can agree. It, I, I, I will defend... Uh, is it Resurrection? No, no you won't. <gasps> you can defend all you want. Doesn't mean you're right. Oh! I'm hey, kidding. Jet, what did we... Don't be your a judgy opinion jet. is your own, even if it's wrong. I'm kidding. That's that's that is the 
That is the creed on casual truck. Everybody's entitled their, to their opinion, whether they're wrong or not. <laughs> Just listen to Grim. He should know. I do. Because I'm better Perlman. than you. Ron Perlman and a guy in a wee wheelchair help Space Ripley clone get back to Earth. <laughs> okay, okay, on paper. When, when you say it like that, it sounds awesome. And, of course, it was done by the same... It was directed by the same guy who did Amelie and City of Lost Children. So, on paper, it sounds like it would be great. In execution, however... <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, we seem to have turned him towards our opinion. We, we need to move on quickly before he realizes okay, what we've uh, done. Okay, the first movie I saw with Formidable Gore, I was 23, and it was The Evil Dead. And it changed my way of thinking about horror movies. I loved it. <laughs> See, I'm going to say it. it. I'm gonna say it. Don't I'm gonna say it, asshole. Say it. No, no, no. It was good. Say it. No, it was good. Say it. So let me see. The first, the first movie where I had appreciable gore. Goddamn bastard, say it. Mm, that's tough because I didn't even realize it was gore at the time. Because, uh. I guess. Wouldn't Highlander count? It had gore. No, it's not yeah. a horror. It's a sci-fi well, movie. Beheadings. Yeah, it had, it had beheadings. I do not count that as a horror movie. I count that as sci-fi. Well, okay, okay. Uh, I see your point. Um, okay, if we're going to go for a horror movie, then I guess... Shit, I don't know, because I'm not new to the idea. Oh, oh, I need to go straight. Okay. It would probably, it, wouldn't it probably be the first zombie movie? So? No, it, it would have to be um, Poltergeist. The hey. scene where the guy rips his face off. Yeah, yeah. And oh, that, that movie fucked me up. That was the first time I've ever had to sleep with the lights on in my sister's room because I didn't want to be alone. And I was just scared shitless. I was the first 11? time Grim got a boner over clowns. No, that was something different. Shut up. Said joke. Shut up. N now, uh, as we talk for the rest of the show, I will be putting up pictures of uh, Pixie Payista. Ah, oh, oh, so sexy. You are a sad, sad little man. Pixie, I love you. She can't understand you. She's Mexican. <laughs> So, <laughs> speak Mexican. <laughs> I don't know how to say I love you in Mexican. Hola, estoy el skeleton del bistec. Uh, taco bueno. Taco, 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 taco. <laughs> God damn. Taco, taco, hey, hey, I'm allowed to be racist. I'm part Mexican. No, you're Irish. Yeah, I'm part Irish too. One of the Not benefits Irish. of being part everything. Oh, oh, now you're Mexican and Irish. I, like, that, just Irish. I have, I've always been Mexican, Irish, English, uh, a little bit of French, some Aztec. Pero no se habla español. Si. Sí. Uh, no. Yes. Potato. <laughs> Monkey potato. Do you guys that remember? Do you guys remember Saturday morning cartoons? Yes, and I'm, that's sad that they're gone, but... Why do you need a Saturday morning cartoon when you got internet and cable? That's, that's what I mean, I would you're, you're not You're not wrong, but it just that's feels... That's why they're gone, that's what I'm saying. It just feels different. It feels wrong, but, you know, we're not children anymore, so... I and liked I, it better when I was, like four or five when they would have all day marathons of the Warner Brothers cartoons all just the worst uh, that Bugs Bunny Daffy Duck and Porky Pig had to offer uh, some really out of date racist cartoons to slip through thank you TNT <laughs> oh man me, <laughs> oh my god I'm just remembering all of the racist cartoons I've seen now. Did you ever see the one where De uh, Donald Duck worked uh, for the Nazis? It's not racist, that's just anti-Semitic, I guess. I, don't I didn't see any of the war propaganda stuff until I, I saw that on the internet later, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I talked over you. No, that's okay. I was talking to you, I was talking to... Oh, God. 
I know I you're talking about him. I remember watching the old Max Fleischer Superman fight the Nazis. That was my first introduction to the Nazis as a concept. Max Fleischer Superman is the best. Oh. oh man, wait. How does how was that your first and not Indiana Jones? He said cartoon. Oh, did yeah, you say cartoon? I, I thought you said intro to just Nazis. Well, you're stupid. I saw the Max Fleischer Superman. are you, Al? I'm 28. I'm... I feel aged now. I'm 32. <clears throat> I'm, like, 39? 40? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Thank you, Queenie. Ah! I just wrecked my car. It was so beautiful. I think it's time for you to go to bed, Grandpa. <laughs> no, uh, you I can say hello. Ah, I just wrecked my car again. It's too beautiful. Hell, I remember watching... Snap a picture of that so I can put it on, uh... Yep. <laughs> Rich, shut the fuck up and let Al talk. I swear to God, I'll hug you. Oh, no, it's cool. There's food. Yeah, it's food. But we can't have the food. No, you can't. And you'll see it when this goes up. But no, you can't have the food. I can pretend. All right, what were you saying? All right, thank you, baby. I'm going to eat after this show. But you are, you bastard. So, okay, I was really, really distracted by food. What were you saying, Al? Oh, uh, I remember watching the old uh, Pink Panther and Popeye uh, cartoons, too, with my grandpa. But that was really early in the morning when he would get home from uh, uh, the Ford plant. I like those cartoons. They were good. I had the Pink Panther theme fucking memorized. <laughs> Now what's funny is there's a there is a game on uh, the Commodore 64 called I think it's called Killed Until Dead or Murder by Death. That's what it was. It was Murder by Death, which is and also a great movie. Was I? Mean, that's the trouble is it was called something different because they got in trouble with the movie people. So, I'm trying to remember which one is which. Which one was the movie, uh, Jet? Murder murder by Death. Okay, then it was called Killed Until Dead. The, uh, the game was... It was a detective game. It was actually really clever for its time. And you wouldn't see anything like it until Night Trap. That's not a compliment, I realize. But it, it was good. But that music, the Pink Panther music, is all that they played while the game went on. And they never drew attention that it was the Pink Panther music. Lovely. Was it all in, like, old-school MIDI computer sounds? Well, yeah, it was a Commodore 64, so it sounded like... It sounded a little bit worse than a Nintendo, like an original Nintendo. They might not have recognized it due to that. I'm not gonna say they weren't. Where am I? In Europe, I hope. Some, I actually don't know where I am. Am I still in France? Hang on, I gotta, I gotta check a map. I'm in a place where there are three facilities. Oh, I'm in Liège. Is that, is that how you pronounce that? It's, it's part of Brussels. Or it's part of... Ver no, it's not part of Brussels. Brussels is a town. Um, Brussels is a country. No, Brussels I'm... is a town. In. Uh... Shut up, mom. <laughs> Thank you, Jet's mom. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know where I am, but here I am. So here fuck. Uh, I guess I'll find. I'm just heading east. I just pulled over here to kind of take a look at this tiny little town. All right. <sighs> Moving on. Sorry about that interruption. Game and everything. It's fine. I'm trying to astral project, and everything I'm getting is that you're heading towards the Rhineland. Where's the Rhineland? Germany. Oh. In between Germany and France. I think, what Hitler wanted. I think you're right. And I didn't know it was called that. But, uh... uh okay. I am psychic towards the things that do not matter. Oh. Oh, man. I've been thinking about 
magic again. And I've nailed down everything now except for time magic and uh, soul magic in, in my little world. Get out of my way, people. You fucking stoplight stoppers. Ah! I think of the, uh... Um... What the hell was it called? The, the one where there's the, mo the, mo the robot monster in the school. Doctor Who episode. Oh, uh, you're talking about uh, two weeks ago. Yes. Okay. I don't remember what it's called. I thought Pink was being a little bit rough on the Doctor there. Well, the point was... Hold on. Okay, we're holding. All right. Holding. Uh, the, whole, the whole point was that the doctor was trying to make sure that he was a good man for Clara. Well, yeah, the doctor kind of turned into this father figure for Clara after the regeneration. And Pink, even though he's a soldier, does, was a soldier, he doesn't like being a soldier. So he's giving the doctor crap. Because the doctor was giving him crap. Yeah, I... Okay. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not going to say that you're... I'm not going to argue with you over it. It's he just, thinks I'm wrong. <clears throat> no. No, I don't. That's what it means. No, I mean it. You're, you're not wrong. I just... I thought it might have been a little bit much like he was picking a fight. Which I guess he was, kind of. So was the doctor. Yeah. Because I don't know what... What is the deal with the Doctor and soldiers this regeneration? What's the deal with the Doctor and soldiers, soldiers in any generation? Well, he didn't have a problem with soldiers in some cases. I mean, he worked for a military institution for a because fairly he big had chunk to. of... Because he had to. It was on Earth. He had nowhere to, else to turn. Uh, it's the Doctor. He had plenty of places to turn. Admittedly, he was younger then. Uh, the third Doctor. It's the only place he had to turn where he could do his experiments in that kind of way. And no, it's a British a minute, show, a so minute. they're going to promote the British Army, so... I, uh, in the day of the Doctor, wasn't... Yeah, he was a soldier. Yeah. That's, uh, that wasn't technically the Doctor. That was the... the that was the time he forsake his... He forsook... Forsook? Forsake? For sure. Forsook, yeah. He forsook his name. Forsaken, whatever. So he's usually called the War Doctor, even though even that has the Doctor to it. So eh. it's it's complicated, <laughs> and and every time Jet and I start talking about Doctor Who, we immediately start arguing. Eh, that's what fans do. Ah, uh, yeah, they really do. Look at look at all the arguments that go on about the different realities for Gravity Falls now, which. If you haven't seen Gravity Falls, it's awesome. Uh -huh. I'll have to seek it out. It's it's good. It's like um, it's a it's like a cross between Twin Peaks, Twilight Zone, X Files, and any other Disney cartoon you can think of. You know, Twin Peaks is coming back. Yeah, that gum it's you like is coming back into style. But no, it's coming back to Showtime. Yeah, I know. In 2016. I was quoting Twin Peaks. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, I can do it. I have never encountered Twin Peaks in all my years. I have been wanting to do a Monday stream of Twin Peaks. Then why don't you? I don't. I, because nobody showed up for the first one. I didn't. You didn't know. I didn't know you were doing a one. Because okay. you don't post on Facebook, which everyone uses, because you don't like Facebook. No, they fucked me. Mondays are rough for me. Gives a shit. That's where your friends are, that's where they know. Well, it can't be Friday, Al, because uh, Jet does Friday, and honestly, I can't, because I have to keep dealing with uh, Queenie. Queenie works Friday nights now, and since she's manager, that's pretty much set. Right. So, hmm. Do I even need to say what this week's videos are, movies are? This is probably going to go up on the Monday after, so... What do you plan for next week? Because it's not going to be here for this week. I don't know. We can pretend like we've seen this week's. That was a great movie, Jet. Yeah, Plague of the Zombies was great, wasn't it? Yeah, I especially loved uh, Heather Johnson. 
She she worked well in that role of the brunette. No, this is that was uh, the the Hammer Horror Plague of the Zombies. Oh, it was a different movie. Yeah. Where she played Donna Bag of Hammers. Yeah, that's right, Donna Bag of Hammers. And of course, those classic cartoons from 1921, like The Flying House, that was just uh, that was great. The best. With Correct. Max Fisher, not Fleischer, his his younger I just brother said Fisher. Windsor McKay. Windsor McKay. That's what I meant. That that is what I said. I meant Windsor McKay. And of everybody course, else heard wrong. Black books is always hilarious. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Time for a glass of wine and a nutritious cigarette. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ellie had a balloon. Oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Is it behind the rhinoceros? Nope. <laughs> I'm not drunk enough to watch black books anymore. <laughs> do, you, any, do you two remember a show called The Twisted Tales of Felix the Cat? No. What years did that was that made? 95 to 97 <clears throat> on CBS. It only had like one and a half seasons. I'd never heard of it, actually. Seriously. I, I remember seeing bits, but I don't remember anything for it. Uh, it was... I remember Duckman. Duckman, yeah. That was 90s. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that was... That was ahead of its time. Yes, it was. People were not ready for Duckman. No one was. Or the I critic. Was. Honestly, uh, a lot of the tropes that Family Guy pulls off... Critic did. You're what not is, critic. Wasn't there a critic Family Guy crossover? No, I'm thinking of the Simpsons. No. There was a Simpsons Family Guy or Critic crossover. Actually, no. actually, they began the Simpsons uh, Family Guy crossover with the same joke that they did with the Simpsons Critic crossover. Huh. Okay. That's kind of a nod to the crossover. Crossover. Well, the first joke was Bart Simpson watching uh, Jetsons crossover with the Flintstones. Yeah, and uh, for the Family Guy, uh, they were watching the Modern Family All in the Family crossover. Mm. Uh. Should I have taken that exit? Oh, shit. Take the exit. No, it's too late. It's, it's behind me. Take it. No, I'm looking for any place to stop because I'm trying to figure out when to wrap this up. Look, there was a Felix the Cat movie in 1988. Huh. There's just no keeping down that cat. It's, he's always trying. God bless him. He's great. That I didn't say which great. god, though. Could it was... What? Not, huh? Huh? So how Somebody you doing? said something about the Hitchcock. There was this one time, I was, uh, I, it was not too long ago, I was on my way out to Cleveland from Youngstown, and there was a really big storm up ahead, and there was an eight-car, four-semi-truck collision, and I was stuck on the highway for about six hours. Okay, that sounds really, really terrible, but eight cars and how many semis? I believe four I can uh, I can look up the actual event. What really? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of nuts, it, and it was in construction notes. What do you have your journal on database? No, I just remember the day clearly because I sat in the car and listened to the news about it because it jammed up of I eighty, a major turn, uh, the major turnpike that goes all the way across Ohio, even through PA. Damn. It was nuts. It was, uh, well, okay, consider this. It's about 60 miles in between uh, where I live and where I was going in Cleveland. And I had gotten about 40 miles there. And within an hour of my having stopped, traffic was backed up to where I had got on the turnpike from. Good lord. 
So this is your uh, casual tra tra traffic report. If you're back in time... <laughs> you're fucked. You're fucked. In the butt. It uh, might have been the same day as the Joplin tornado. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and it just keeps going. It's, just don't go outside today. You, do, you, you don't need to get out of bed this morning. Just keeps getting better and better. Now, how do we transmit this back a year, two years, however many years it was ago? Oh, I know a guy. I know a guy with a time machine. It'll be fine. That's not a guy with a time machine. That's a hobo, and he rapes you. <laughs> yeah, but it makes me feel like a kid again. That's a kind of time machine. No. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> what? You haven't heard that term? I haven't been uh, fucked like that since grade school? <laughs> I think we broke them. That's from Fight Club, isn't it? That's from Fight Club. It's from the... They got rid of... Or it's a replacement line. The original line was, I want to have your abortion. Hot. Uh, yeah, that was pretty hot. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we broke them. Well, this is going to be like a, a good stopping point. And also there is food in front of me, which looks delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, <laughs> Al, thank you for joining us for the first time on this three-way casual truck. No, thank you. Thank you. It was a blast. Jed, it's always a pleasure. I just say it like that. What do you mean? Why does my butt hurt? <laughs> oh god, what does my Sprite bottle taste like jet butt? So, <clears throat> I will see, uh, go ahead and say what? goodnight, everybody. I'll say, what? say, say goodnight, everybody. I used Farewell. to not trust anyone over 30. Now I don't trust anyone at born after Ghostbusters 2. You need an adult? I'm an adult. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Oh god, I'm gonna get raped. Again. Uh...